Wellness, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm doing a 10 random facts about myself. So uh, a few videos ago, years or like months ago, I did a questions and answer. What did y'all want to know about me? So this video is a little switch up. I'm doing a 10 facts or random facts about myself that not a lot of people know, unless you're my family and my close friends. So let's get the facts going. So number one, the first fact is, or let me start off with, okay, this is a question. So how many tats do I have? Can y'all guess how many tats I got? I have 20 tats y'all, 20 tats. And the only tats that you all can see is probably my diamond and my rose on my neck but i have 20 tats they're all over they're my arms my legs my feet my butt my stomach my chest area my back my toes i got tattoos on my toes like and then also these eyebrows are tattoos but of course i got on makeup so um i filled them in but when i wipe my makeup off they're ombre so they're tattoos um yeah so i have 20 tattoos y'all 20. that's crazy when i tell people that people be like no you don't because they all over the place you know it's not just like a whole bunch of tats right here whole bunch of tats over here like and i'm and i'm not done i want some more i i, I want some cover-up tattoos too i want to cover up some things but i also want to add on some more ink to my skin as well i'm addicted to tattoos so yeah, 20 and counting. Number two, how many piercings do I have? So I would say I have uh, one, two, three, four, five. I have five piercings. I had seven piercings. No, I had, I had nine piercings, y'all. And I only have five. Um, what happened to the other four? y'all i had two belly rings one at the top one at the bottom but of course when i got pregnant i had to take them out and once i got pregnant i wasn't thinking about um getting them re-pierced again or i guess the piercing got old or i didn't like my stomach anymore it was some sort of that but that nature but y'all know my son old so i can't really remember that much like he's about to be a teenager for real so i can't really remember but yeah i had to take those two piercings out my belly then i had a nose ring but i remember that was like years years ago before i even had my son and i worked at Krispy Kreme, and they were like you got to take that out so i remember i just got that nose ring and i was like what like that's crazy so i remember um having to like take it out and put like a, a lead or something in my nose like a black lead every morning before I go into work and then when I get off work take the lid out and put my nose ring in because I got it to show off and be cute but I kept forgetting to do that and then I was like you know F it I'm gonna just not wear it no more so I only had the nose ring for like a couple of months so but it was so cute but I don't think I want one I really want a dermal piercing if you get my my gist my gist like y'all see it let me let me get up close to y'all y'all see it it's a diamond but I really want to a dermal here so excuse my chair nobody really sits in it and it's so cute i thought why not sit in this chair and talk to them on this because yeah i'm surprised it's not dusty <laughs> but it's so cute i actually want to sell it because i want to revamp my whole beauty room like i'm not doing lashes anymore and all of that so i want to revamp this whole room but that's another that's a whole nother story so um oh and, and then the last piercing i had i had a piercing a, a a pussycat piercing yes y'all i had a pussycat piercing i don't know what made me do that me and my friend went to some lady at the shop and we just did it we was 18 and we was like we want to pierce and do do y'all like man let me tell y'all with the six flags right after i got it pierced and you know how those rods like be in between your legs and when you're going down when you're going up and you going down a hill on the roller coasters, you slide. Especially, I was so small back in the day. I'm sliding to the front, and the thing in a roller coaster is just in between my legs. So it's like messing up my my pussy cat. 
So I'm like, my kitty cat. So I'm like, um, what the heck? Like, I don't even know why I would do that. So I go to the bathroom and Six Flags, I'm wiping, it's just blood. I'm messing up my, my kitty. My Kit Kat. I'm going to say Kit Kat. I'm messing up my Kit Kat. So, you know, after that, I'm like, whatever, whatever. And it ended up coming out somehow during sexual intercourse. And I never put it back in. But it did hurt. That piercing did hurt. But it wasn't as, I don't think it's as painful as getting your nipples pierced. I never got my nipples pierced. I don't want to get my nipples pierced. Um, yeah. It's like a thinner piece of skin than your areola and nipple area. So, yeah. So, what's my zodiac sign? Period. Aquarius. Duh. Like, can y'all tell? Can y'all tell I'm an Aquarius? <laughs> but no. I'm not really that good or like, I'm not really that into zodiac signs. But I do know Aquarius is the best because I'm an Aquarius and I'm the best. Period. I love Aquariuses. When I meet Aquariuses, I can uh, cohabit with them. Like, we're similar. We're very similar in views and what we like to do and what we don't like to do and how we are as a person. Like, Aquarius game, period. That's what I am. And it's coming up next month, January 30th, national holiday, period. Okay, number four. I have two kids. Two. My oldest is Ryan. He's 10 years old. He's my world, my everything. I love him so, so much. Like he just made me be a mom and made me be this incredible person and made me just change my life around because I wasn't doing nothing before him. And he just made me a just overall great person. Like, and I just love him. And that's why I just keep going because I just want to give him everything. And then there's Nudie. If y'all never met him before, I have a little dog. He's a teacup. He's three pounds. He's one years old. His name is Nudie. He's a Yorkie. And no, what? I'm tripping. He's not a Yorkie. He's a toy snoodle. So he's mixed with a schnauzer and a poodle. So he's not getting no bigger. Three pounds and that's it. So that's my youngest. My little fur baby. So I have two kids because he's my baby too. And a lot of people don't know that. Number five. I went to three different colleges within three years. Three different colleges within three years. Can y'all ask me like, did I graduate from any one of them colleges? I did. I graduated from one, but I'm gonna tell y'all. So the first college I went to was Fort Valley State University. It was a HBCU in Fort Valley, Georgia. But it's like maybe like uh, 30 minutes from Macon. So not a lot of people know about Fort Valley, Georgia, but people know about Macon, Georgia. So it was like 30 minutes from Macon and when I tell you this school was so turnt and so lit if you don't know or never heard about Fort Valley googling ask around shoot put the hashtag in on Instagram and it's gonna pop up it's that school is so overly lit I could not stay focused <laughs> I couldn't come in pony but where I came from with my strict mom with the curfew with the no boys and all this other stuff and then going to a HBCU where I had my own dorm on campus. Like what? I got kicked out after one year, y'all. Academic probation. Got kicked out because I was partying too much. Wasn't going to class. Didn't know none of my teachers, none of my classes. Like the second semester, it was pretty much over with. They just kept me because my mom already paid for that year. So yes, y'all, like academic probation for a year. My mom was like, oh, this acad academic probation for your life. I mean, for your for the rest of, for your whole life because I'm not I'm not paying no more. I wasted my money. You went down there and showed your ass. Like, we're not doing this no more. So, you know, of course, I was sad about that because I wasted my mom's money. I wasted my time, her time as well. But that was like one of the best times I've ever had in my life. Don't tell her that. One of the best times I ever had. Still to this day. I'm in my 30s and it still was one of the best times I ever had in my life. Funnest. The best moments. Funnest moments. Everything. I still remember a lot of stuff that... It was just a lit school and my dorm was lit. Like, ah, memories, memories, memories. And I still keep in contact with certain people from that school as well. So, lit, lit. My second school I went to was Georgia Gwinnett College, GGC. 
So this time I asked my dad, I'm like, dad, you know, I messed up with Fort Valley or whatever they sent me home but i still feel like i want to prove to you all that i can do the school thing i don't know what else i want to do so can i try out georgia gwinnett it's up the street from the house i don't have to be on campus i can just go to class and come straight home i'll be more focused that way he's like okay you sure i'm like yes let me just try it out let's try this out it's 30 minutes away from my house like let me do it let's do it did that for the first semester, I'm I'm still on the same, I'm still on the same partying. Dorms is on campus, but I'm not. Listen, I don't have a dorm, but I knew somebody who had a dorm, and I was always in a dorm, lit, partying, drinking, whatever, whatever you could think of as a freshman, sophomore, college student. So, I got kicked out again from Georgia Gwinnett, but they kicked me out. I'm trying to make sure y'all still recording. Okay, uh, they kicked me out after one semester. Instead of a whole year. I guess Georgia Gwinnett wasn't playing. They was like, girl, you did your transcripts from Fort Valley. You sent that over, did all this, and you still doing the same thing? Yeah, no, we're we not going to have that. We can't have that. So, babe, what? Man, I had broke my pants. So, yeah, so that was like a horror story. Georgia Gwinnett, my dad was pissed. My mom was like, see, I told you, Brianna ain't want to do school for real. Like, are you wasted your money like I wasted mine. That was year two. Year three, well, during Georgia Gwinnett, like a little bit after that year, 2012, I would say, I got pregnant. I had my son 2013. So this time, I'm over here trying to find a job. I said, F school, I'm trying to find a job to better me and my son. It's life, you know? So I'm online, I'm trying, you know, I'm applying, I'm filling out applications and all of that and you know how sometimes you get that ad that pop up saying oh um are you interested in going back to school or whatever and i'll be like you know maybe i never said no but i was like maybe you know and um yeah so after i had my son a little bit after i had my son he was probably like two or three months I ended up getting a, enrolled into Westwood College. It's like a community college where it's like a two year program where you get your associate's degree and it had multiple, multiple majors. And it was like maybe 40 minutes from my house. So I was like, okay, this time is different because I have a child in this world now, depending on me, I have a dependent. And then also uh, I, I'm using my own money. <laughs> my parents were done with me. So I decided to apply there. I ended up graduating after two years with my associate's degree in the medical field. But that's a whole other story because I'm not even in the medical field. But it's so much more. It's so much to me, y'all. Like, I wish I could write a book, like, about my life. Like, seriously. And then I'll open up more to y'all, too, and get more, get more comfortable talking to y'all. And y'all getting to know me a little bit more. But I really need a book to write about my life. So I'm not in the medical field, but I have a degree in the medical field that makes sense so yeah that was a rundown of the three colleges graduated one with a associate's degree in medical field period number six i took an eyebrow and i took a lash class and i quit y'all it's so many story times i, I can't elaborate because this video would be like three hours long and i, I don't want to bore y'all but i took two lash classes and quit first last class was like years ago i was like i'm doing it but i'm not really getting the hang of it the niche with my fingers my hands were putting the lash on each lash i'm not getting it so i gave up so then years later i'm like oh let me try the last class again and use a different lash teacher because now i'm older i'm wiser I still hate my job or that's how I was thinking back in the day. So let me try it again and pay again with a different um, teacher, instructor, last instructor. Still quit. Still quit. Still couldn't get it. It's just not my thing. So yeah, I wasted money on that. Last products, the last class, just buying the bed. I have the bed still up in the attic. I got so much stuff that I just need to give away to people who's actually doing these things because it's collecting dust at this point. The eyebrow class, don't let me get started on that, y'all. I That was last year or this year. I think, no, it was last year where I quit. 
to the class because I'm like, okay, it's different from lashes. It's not as tedious as lashes. I'm actually tattooing people's brows. I have a tattoo machine upstairs in my attic. <laughs> and it's collective dust because I quit. That's a whole other story, y'all. But that's that's a fact. Just a random fact about myself. Like, I really thought I was going to be an eyebrow technician or a lash technician. Like, I had this room set up. That's why I got stuff over here with the Believe, Inspire, Create. Y'all can't really see it. But I just got all this stuff in here because I really thought this, that was what I wanted to do. And it's just not no more. Like, I'm just changing and finding out more and more about myself. Like, that's not my thing. But I had to learn by paying for these classes and stuff to see if that's really what I wanted to do or what it was for. I mean, if it was for me. Because I wouldn't have knew if I wouldn't have paid for the class. But I still took the L, wasting all the money and wasting time too. So I had family members coming to me. Don't let me get started with that. Oh my gosh, horrible, horrible experience, horrible. Number seven, I used to sell lashes. Lash me out. Lash me out. Lash me out. Yeah. Lash me out. Lash me out. Lash me out. Lash me out. Y'all, I sold lashes, lash me out. I was doing lash me out when COVID first hit, 2020. And it was doing numbers. When I tell you numbers for my first time being an entrepreneur, and I know why, because during COVID, especially in Atlanta, everything was shut down. Everything was shut down. Like nobody was getting their hair done. Nobody was getting their lashes done, makeup done, nothing. Everybody was scared. Nobody wanted to be around nobody for real. You ain't have to. So with me, with my lash brand, I had a website, lashmeout.com slash Shopify, where people will order lashes from my website. I'm packaging it up with gloves and I'll send you some mask, throw you some mask in there with your lashes and like a little cute little pink lash brush and my lash me out card. I had, I had that game sold up. <laughs> period like i that was i was just like oh this is what i needed to do the whole time sell lashes i was selling them for ten dollars i had a big 25 mm lashes which i still wear to this day but i don't have them on today I, these are some random lashes i got from the hair store because i want to try to go shorter but all my lashes are long i still have them to this day but anyway then i had some shorter lashes for like the older ladies like my mom my aunties and just like even people my age that don't really like the long big glam lashes i was selling them for eight when i tell you i was doing pop-up shops back to back to back yeah we had to wear our masks we had to be six feet away but people were coming in buying them people were coming online then when we opened back up 2021 it was like it slowed down because then everything start opening up so now people are more so involved with or like to get their lashes done instead of buying lashes and i had to realize that like dang that's why um uh, it's slowing down so i will be sometimes two sales a month i'm like and i'm paying 30 dollars a month for shopify i think i can't remember that was so long ago and i'm only profiting 20 dollars for my lashes yeah no so I stopped the website thing. I was like, listen, if anybody, y'all know, because I had clientele, people coming back and referrals and stuff. Because my lashes was lasting long. They were very, like, mink, nice quality lashes. But anyway, so I, I had people hitting my phone, like the trap. Hello, yeah, you want the lashes? You want the Shirley? You want the Barbie? You want the Barbie Queen? You want the, um, oh my God, what's the other, what's the other ones? Uh, I can't even remember. Baby Girl. I can't even remember all of them, but I had eight pairs. I had five long ones and two short ones. People be hitting my phone, texting me like, can you, can we meet? Da, 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 da. Can I come to your house and pick? Cool. That happened for like six, seven months. And then it just stopped. It just stopped. Like everybody just getting their lashes done now. So I, I can't be mad at it because I still like wearing lashes. I'm strip lashes. I'm not really a mink lash girl. Not right now but everybody's not a strip lash girl like it's dying down so i just completely stopped i still got some if anybody out there would like some just let me know hit my dm comment below i can send them to you or you can meet me and we can yeah exchange or whatever like that but i still have like maybe 20 maybe 20 lashes so yeah 
Um, number eight, I bought a house by myself. If you didn't know, if y'all not the real OG Monets, then that means you don't, you didn't know that I bought a house myself in 2021. No, 2020, yeah, 2021. I bought a house 2021, September 2021. I bought a house and it's a three bedroom, three bath, and I'm so happy um, that I did it by myself for me and my son. And yeah, I bought a house, but I got a video probably that I made last year explaining the process of how I bought it and what's the steps and information and everything like that. So hold on y'all. Hello. But yeah, if y'all want to see that video of the process of me buying my house and all the steps I took, just go ahead and let me know. Um, my number nine, I have seven sisters and one brother y'all. It's eight of us. Wait, is it eight? Wait, it's me, then my brother, then my sister in Canada, then my sister in Fort Valley, then my other sister, she's doing online school. Then I have another sister that's in high school about to graduate. Then I have two little sisters. So it's eight of us. Yeah, if y'all didn't know. And I'm the oldest of all, and it's only one boy. My last one is my favorite food is Mexican food. Period, I love me some Mexican food. Like. Who doesn't love Mexican food? If you don't love Mexican food, it's like, what do you really like for real? What do you eat other than wings and pizza? Like, yes, I'm half Jamaican. I love Jamaican food. But if I had to choose between Jamaican food and Mexican, I'm not going to lie. Mexican. Mexican me, please. I love the tacos, the nachos, the fajitas, the margaritas, the salsa, the queso. Just not guacamole and pico de gallo. I don't like them too. But everything I love. I love the cheese. I love the seasonings, the sauces all of that so my my battery's dying but that's it y'all that's all that i have for y'all for the 10 random facts y'all it died but that's all that i have about the 10 facts 10 random facts about myself um if you want to know anything else let me know below in the comments or you can dm me and if y'all could please make sure you like comment share this video and subscribe y'all doing so good while watching my videos and i appreciate y'all so much but if you can click the like button because it is free and if you don't want to leave a comment that's cool but i would love for you to leave a comment because i always comment back because i don't have that many viewers to be like i can't comment to everybody i can i can comment to every person that comments under my video that would be very much appreciative and i'm out i will see y'all and happy holiday period so till next time on that